Check in, shout out to Thematic, the math behind the music. Make sure you check it out. He's active right here, Mama's Boys Group. You already know how we doing it. One. All right, the first year I started DJing, um, probably by like 1993, I would say I really got into it. Um, so I get into competitions in like 94, DMC, uh, place third place, uh, East Coast Finals. Um, so yeah, I started started DJing. I was DJing when I was younger, probably when I was like a kid, because my dad was a DJ, and um, after that, by following his footsteps, watching him do parties in the house, the house parties like that, I kind of graduated to it myself, and um, started like like I told you already, started doing like DJ battles and parties in high school. So it, it definitely kicked off in the early '90s for me in uh, middle school, high school. Time. You don't really gotta be my girlfriend. No, no. Became a profession, I would say, right after the DMC. So I'm gonna say probably like in '97, like straight out of high school, um, it started coming like more profession. Like I mean, I was in college or whatever, but I, I was doing parties on campus and stuff like that. But uh, I start doing this um, this summer league, uh, the Jay Irvin uh, Basketball League in Philly, and that's kind of when I got discovered there that's when i met uh michael michael MacArthur, which is also uh used to be the manager of music soul child and um they asked me to come on the road with them they were like yo we like the way you dj we hear you on the radio as well we like to bring you out on the road so it kind of started in like 99 2000 um after the music soul child it definitely progressed you know by the grace of god i mean i started getting different calls from different artists uh different management groups started hitting me up uh, my man Jay Irvin, after doing music, I started doing uh, Floetry, March Ambrosius, then it went to Khalees, then it went to Nas, um, then after Nas, it went to, uh, man, uh, Queen Latifah, um, now Jennifer Hudson, uh, Common currently, and, and the rest is history from there, like currently now Janet Jackson, so it's been a blessing, like it just kept going, like, you know, cats start calling me for to do tour DJing, which was kind of weird. I never thought I was going to be doing it forever. Like, I'm like, all right, I'm not going to be doing this. This is just for right now. Like, I, I never thought after Music Soul Child I was going to be DJing for other artists. It never came to my mind. Oh, I am rich, I mean, I'm not using vinyl now. I'm using more of like record controllers. Um, I'm using a uh, Serato and track. I use both of them. So when I'm using, uh, when I'm using, it's like a, it's a controller. It's not a real record. To put it like that. It's it's a fake record, but all the music is on your MP3s. So it's synced to your computer and through your uh, your inbox or whatever. Your Serato inbox or your mixer, and then all the music comes through the control record. So when I'm not using Official wax no more, no. I mean, I still got them. I still, you know, if I'm doing like a all vinyl party, then I'm going to use it. But nah. only thing authentically I'm using is the Technique 20 turntables up there from back in the day. Nowadays, can use the new technology to really, I mean, to DJ, but really, I'm just going to say it flat out, really can't DJ because they don't, some people don't know beats per minute and stuff like that. So it kind of, I mean, it helped, and then it didn't help, you know, because everybody's a DJ. Anybody can be a DJ. All right, well, I just got all these MP3s. I'm just going to play whatever. So. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine.
Well, with the Janet thing, it, it happened where as though uh, a friend of mine is a music director. He's a music director for a lot of A-list artists right now. He's from Philly. Um, he gave me a call and was like, yo, I might have a situation for you. Um, I don't believe it at all. And I was like, I might have a situation for you. Uh, one of my clients is looking for a DJ. I'm like, okay, cool. Just let me know what's up. And, and he calls me a couple months later and was like, yo, um, remember that situation I was telling you? It's Janet Jackson. So I'm like, who? I'm like, Janet Jackson. I'm like, nah, I can't be Janet Jackson. And he was like, yo, it's Janet Jackson. You know, she's seen your, your stuff. She Googled you. So she's seen, I guess, your uh, social media, Instagram page, whatever. And, and apparently, I guess she's seen, um, shout out to the family, Common. Common, good looking. He posted me up doing uh, my brother's routine, which is Billie Jean. And then um, Jermaine Dupree actually reposted it. He was like, yo, she's seen it on either one of those pages. She wants you to come out to L.A., you know, and vibe with the band and see, you know, if she's going to dig you. So, you know, and I've still been here. So it's been a blessing to be part of Janet Jackson 2015. I'm breaking the tour. I hate these My advice would be is to um, learn your music first. Learn your music, uh, learn how to mix. Learn how to mix, know all genres of music. You gotta know your rap, you gotta know your hip hop, you gotta know your current, you gotta know your classics, you gotta know your rock and roll, your house music, your EDMs, all that in one. So then you could be an all around good DJ. You always work once you know all your music and know how to mix. Mixing is, is the top thing. You gotta know how to blend your records and make sure your, your records make sense. You need to go on YouTube, look at some old school cats, check out Jazzy Jeff, check out c Trip. you know what I'm saying? It's a couple DJs you can look into. And if you want to get into battling, you can check out Rock Raider, all those old school cats, and then combine it all and just be one thorough DJ.